Plenty of fans on hand to see Hillcrest take on Madison. The Knights are up just 7-0 in a defensive battle. Bobcats going for it on fourth down, but this one is intercepted by Braxton Battleson in the end zone. The Knights get it back, and they're celebrating the turnover after the play, hoping to put this one out of reach with the ball back. Peyton King doing just that. Jace Judy on the ground in the end zone. That one is ruled a catch, makes it a 14-0 Hillcrest lead, and that's all they would need. The Knights still undefeated, improving to 6-0. Another defensive battle in Shelley. Pokey is down 7-zip. Julian Bowie in at QB, scrambling here, but Shelley rallies to take him down. In the fourth quarter, same score. Bowie rolling to his right, doesn't like it, flips it around and finds some space, somehow managing to move the chains for the Thunder. This time, Bowie going to the air. He's looking deep all the way near the end zone. Throws it up there. It's a jump ball for Ty Wilkinson, and the big fella comes down with it just shy of a touchdown. It's first and goal for Pokey with a chance to tie it up, and Carson Christensen takes care of business. Seven apiece in the fourth quarter. Add on a game-winning field goal late, snapping Pocatello's two-game losing streak. They win it 10-7. Highland looking like maybe the team to beat in 5A headed, to, headed into last week, but facing a setback with Meridian coming into town and handing the Rams their first loss. A chance to bounce back at Blackfoot. Drew Hymas running the option to perfection, keeps it himself and follows his blockers into the land of six. Sweet cut back there too. The Rams are in front. Blackfoot moving the chains here. Jace Cooper looking downfield, connects with Tanner Ellis for the first down. Rams getting it back. Hymas looking to the air, looking end zone. Christian Alvarico gets a foot down. What a catch. There's another look. Highland extending their lead. Everything coming together tonight for the Rams. They win it 44 to nothing. Thanks to Phil Campbell with D93 for these sweet shots as Thunder Ridge takes the field. The Titans are starting hot. Ryder Portman looking for it all, and Hudson Harker makes the catch in the corner of the end zone. More from that connection. Down the sideline this time, and Harker goes up and gets it. Big time gain for Thunder Ridge. Now Portman making it happen with his legs, buying time in the pocket and finds, you guessed it at the end of this play, Hudson Harker for another Thunder Ridge touchdown. The Titans offense heating up. They pick up their first win of the year, 39 to 24 over Bonneville. The Diamondback faithful out to cheer on Century, but the Tigers are up big in the second half. Handoff up the middle, hit hard by a couple of Diamondbacks, and Aiden McCaslin pokes it loose. Century on it first. Big play for the Diamondbacks. Going into their bag of tricks offensively now, Caden Scott with the handoff, picking up a solid gain for the home team. But not too much later, Century going to the air. The Tigers' defense gets in the way, and it is intercepted. Idaho Falls gets it back. They are rolling, picking up their second win of the season, winning it 41-16. to We'll be right back with some even more Friday Night Football. Marsh Valley looking to get into the win column, but facing a tough test with Declo rolling into town. The Eagles taking the field in front of their home crowd, but it's the undefeated Hornets flying out of the gates. Handoff to Gavin Rasmussen, picks up the first down and then some. Declo is moving in the first quarter. But now it's fourth down, and the Eagles are bringing the pressure. Quick throw, and it's incomplete. Turnover on downs back to Marsh Valley. Declo gets it back. Tough Solomon rushing the passer, and he gets home. Big time sack as the Eagles' defense is stepping up. Now the offense doing their thing. Cooper Bowman to Bo Larson. He's barreling over defenders. That drive ends in a field goal, but Declo rallies, showing why they're one of the best of the best, winning it 21 to 16. Thanks to our friends at KMVT for a look at Wendell versus American Falls. The Trojans are up 7-6 in the second quarter, but make that 14-6. After this play, Jesse Chavez shot out of a cannon, puts his team up eight. They have another chance later on in the red zone looking for it all, but the Beavers break it up. Strong defense from American Falls today, but just not enough on the other side of the ball. Wendell hands the Beavers their second straight loss, 24-6 the final score. Another 3A result, Teton staying undefeated, hosting Snake River, plenty of points, but the Timberwolves come out on top, 59-36 to the final. Plenty of high-scoring action in 2A, Firth with an overtime victory over Ryrie, and Aberdeen stays hot, taking down Malad 42-30. 
North Jam winners of three straight entering today, but hosting the four and one Mackey Miners. Let's get in some eight man action. The Cowboys doing their thing, keeping it on the ground. Craig Yost around the outside for a big time gain. But on fourth down, Grayson Chandler in the backfield makes the stop. Turnover on downs. The Miners are taking over. Now they're facing fourth down, strong coverage downfield from the Cowboys, and Evan O'Brien gets home. That's a Cowboy sack. They are with it now, taking advantage. Rusty Hatch right up the middle for a score. Eight nothing North Gem lead after the two point conversion. The Miners say no problem. Sweet fake from Taysen Burley finds Palin Burley wide open in the end zone. But the Cowboys make it four wins in a row, taking it 28 to 22. Some other 1A results, Butte County running into a buzzsaw. Kendrick putting up 50 points in a big victory. And Water Springs scoring 69 points in a dominant win over Clark County.